So, how was your first day of school today? If you have older kids, it was likely more of the same. Same old teachers, just a new year, with the same old homework. But if you have a child like I do that just started kindergarten, buckle up. The class of 2023 is on the fast track. It's all going to feel like a cup of coffee. Isn't there any way I can get out of starting kindergarten? Before you know it, they'll be in middle school. Then they'll be driving. Don't be a fool. Stay in school. That is the easy part. The real work starts in about 13 years when you have to try to figure out a way to pay for college. As you go out into the world, my advice to you is don't go. The National Center for Public Policy says college tuition and fees rose 439% between 1982 and 2007. Now, all of this happened while the median family income rose only 147%. Not good. And by the time your little one gets from K to 12, Wells Fargo says it will cost you about $145,000 to send your child to four years at a public university. If your child wants to go to a private school, expect to pay double. Well, come on, stop whining. So what do you do? Obviously, start saving and investing. But I have some better advice for you. Make nice with your friends and relatives. You see, Sally Mae, the people behind all those student loans, says more and more relatives are paying for college. Grandma is writing more checks. One reason why? Parents would rely on home equity to help put their kids through college. Well, you don't need a PhD to realize what's happened to all that equity lately. So let's just hope in 13 years when today's kindergartner wants to leave home, they can. Even if a rich uncle is nowhere to be found. I'm Steve for Simon Says.